Long story short, yeah. If you live in North America, the rice in your kitchen cabinet is most likely riddled with arsenic. Side note! For even worse news, most of the food that's grown, slaughtered, and manufactured in North America have all types of poison in them. Doctors and professionals are always trying to downplay how serious this epidemic has become for some reason. But it's serious and feels almost impossible to avoid. That's the main reason why I moved here. If you have the opportunity to plant something edible, don't take that for granted. You gotta start somewhere. If not, locate farms and farmer's markets in your area. So rice contains arsenic, but your hair loves rice water. You're probably wondering, what's arsenic? How does it get into rice? And what should I do? Arsenic is a heavy metal that's naturally found on earth in small amounts. If you consume elevated levels over time, the effects can be gradual, so it may be difficult to pinpoint the exact cause of your illness. Arsenic is a carcinogen that can be consumed through skin contact, eating, and breathing it in. It acts by changing the natural function of about 200 critical enzymes in your body. It's odorless and tasteless, which explains why it's the most popular go-to poison for killers. Based on research findings, there are two main ways elevated levels of arsenic gets into rice. One way is through chicken. In North America, there are elevated levels of arsenic in chicken because they're fed antibiotics and growth hormones that contain arsenic. Their poop, or what the agricultural industry calls litter, is used as fertilizer on commercial rice farms. Another source of arsenic in rice is cotton fields. As far back as 1927, arsenic pesticides have been used in the U.S. on millions of acres of former cotton fields that are now rice fields. Rice is a hot topic compared to other commercially grown foods because it happens to absorb a lot more arsenic from the soil and the environment compared to other foods. It's been shown in a study that boiling rice in at least six times of water helps, but the problem is that the arsenic leaches out of the rice and into the water. The same water you would use to do a rice water rinse. For some of you, this may be a better option if you want to eat the rice, even though it'll be soggy, but it's not a good option if you want to do a rice water rinse. So the best thing to do is to avoid contaminated rice altogether. Here's three options. Avoid rice grown from southern states because that's where most of those former cotton fields were located. Rice from California is a little safer. But for the most part, it's hard to tell what state rice is from from what's shared on the bag. So if it just says made in the USA, I would just avoid that rice altogether. Rice made in countries like India and Pakistan have significantly lower amounts of arsenic than rice made in the US. Another option is to replace rice with other whole grains like quinoa, which also offer great benefits to your hair and skin. A third option is to replace a rice water rinse with a real protein treatment. I personally prefer it to rice water. It offers all the benefits without exposure to harmful toxins and without making your hair stiff and dry over time. I'll be talking more about why rice water does that in the next video. In contaminated conditions, brown rice exposes you to just as much carcinogenic arsenic as white rice does. But brown rice has a whole lot of nutrients and protein inside each grain compared to white rice. So if you don't have easy access to brown rice grown overseas, here's what I would do. Because the nutrients in brown rice has not been completely processed away as it was with white rice, you can afford to boil out the arsenic before making rice water. Boil some water, 
Then add some rice to it. Measurements are up to you. Just make sure the ratio is at least six parts water to one part rice. Let it boil for a minute or two. Turn off the fire and let it sit for another five minutes or so. Then strain out the water. Most of the arsenic that was present in the rice is now down the drain. And because brown rice is so jam-packed with nutrients and protein, there's still more than enough left in here to make a really good rinse, either with the wash, ferment, or boil method. Arsenic contamination is a real problem that affects all parts of the food and agricultural industry. It's easy to pretend the problem doesn't exist, but once you know, then you kind of have to do something about it. So I try to give you as many real and doable options as possible to help minimize your exposure. Let me know below what you think about this topic and what you plan to do going forward, especially if you love using rice water in your hair. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.